Well, one of the biggest stories of the all season in high school football in middle Georgia was the departure of Von Laster from Houston County as he took the job at Bleckley County. Uh, it's not your normal departure because Coach Laster, you are going back home to Bleckley County. You play there, you're from there, so that makes it easy to understand. But how difficult a decision was it for you to leave Hoko? Uh, very difficult. You know, Houston County was a, a great place, a great uh, you know, home for our family for, for four and a half years. We had a great administration there, loved the people there. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not Cochran, you know, and uh, <laughs> Cochran's a very special place to me. Um, it's, it's a great place for my family. Uh, great uh, to see my kids being, some of them have, are in classes with teachers that taught me. Really? And, uh, oh, wow. And that's neat. You don't get to yeah. do that every time, you know, all the time. And when you have a chance to go back home and, and do things that, uh, that are important to the community, like, like our job is in football, then, then it's special. And I'm uh, looking forward to it. Is that one of the things that you may have said, even subconsciously to yourself or to your family, you know, hey, one day it might be fun to go back to Bleckley County. I mean, you've been a coach for a while. You've had this experience for four years at Hoco. That had to be a natural thing to think about if the opportunity ever presented itself. It always did. You know, we've, we've always said that we, we missed Cochran. We loved living there. We loved our church there. We loved the, you know, the school, everything about it. And mm -hmm. so every, you know, every, every Friday night after we got done with our games, we were checking the scores <laughs> back home. And we just always had a, a, an interest in Cochran. You know, it's where, our, it's where our, our roots were, were yeah. at. And, um, my kids grew up there when I coached there young, when they were younger, and so um, it, it was it was always a, a, a thing that if we ever had the opportunity, it was something we'd definitely have to pray about and think about and make a make a tough decision. So compared to if you had taken a job at Ware County, uh, going home and at least having some familiar faces in that high school makes this transition, I would assume, a little bit easier. It is because I don't, you know, I, I don't have to get to know you when I come to see you. I mm -hmm. know everybody there. So when, when I come, they know that I'm either coming just to say hey or stop by or that I need help with something. Mm -hmm. And so it, that takes away a level of, uh, of nonsense, if you would say, that, um, that you don't have to deal with when you're, when you're in a town that you're not familiar with the people there. Yeah. And so it, it makes my job easier. It makes the people there's jobs easier. And it's, uh, it, it's a really good relationship between us and the community there. And, and it's, uh, it's been good getting everybody on board. You know they've got to be happy to have their guy back home in Cochrane for sure, Blakely County. All right, in our na next report, we'll take a look at what Coach Laster inherited with Blakely County.